The majority of the world is ran by the Edomite, so called, so called white man, right? I ain't gonna get you. I ain't racist. I ain't racist. If you own something and I don't, and it's yours, how is that racist? What you mean, don't want to be judged? They judge you every day. By the color of your skin, right? Let's walk off, hey, bro. You don't leave. So, brother, what we're doing is showing our people who they are according to the Bible, right? So, according to the Bible, who are you? Huh? Say that again. Son of God. Son of God. That's right. You are a son of God. What's your nationality according to the Bible? Your race. When you fill out an application, what do you put on that? You put Af African American on there. Black. What? Hebrew. Hebrew. Black. You put that on. You put that on your on your application. But you put black on that, right? So. So-called blacks are, in the Bible, on the right side, on your left side, is the name that the Most High gave us. On the right side is the name that we got when we came over here for this land, right? So you will be from the tribe of Judah. Right. Guess who else comes from that tribe? Guess who else comes from that tribe? You said Hebrew, so what do you know about Hebrew? You, you don't know anything? What, well, tell me what you know. You know, you know who you are according to the Bible. You know that you are Hebrew. You don't know. Okay, so, okay. So now we're gonna show you who you are according to the Bible. We're gonna read this verse for you in Hebrews seven fourteen. That Christ came from the same tribe that you come from. Right. But we're gonna read it for you. We ain't gonna just tell y'all. We're gonna read it for you. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So it's telling you, your Savior, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, came from the same tribe that you're from, right? Right? So you say you don't know who. How do we get over here? How do we get to this land? Huh? No. What mode of transportation brought us to this side of the world? No. It's in the Bible, right? So I'm saying, uh, was your forefathers in slavery? You don't know? Well, we're going to show you. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So how we got over here on this side of the earth, world is ships. When we were brought in those cargo slave ships, we came, when we brought this side of the world, we brought on cargo slave ships. Right. You believe your... Your ancestors were the slaves, right? Okay, read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Moses is telling us how we got over here, how we got to this land. We came over here on slave ships. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. So, what is he saying we won't see again when we come over here on those slave ships? Right? What is he saying? We're coming from one place. Going to another. So what is he saying that we will not see again? No. What part of what land is he saying we wouldn't see again? Israel. Israel. That's right. You, you got it right. Read. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above is free, which is the mother of us all. So he was saying that land we will not see anymore because that's what we came from, right? You said Israel. That's right. Jerusalem. Right? We won't see that land no more because we were brought over here on cargo slave ships to this side of the world, right? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. 
and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. So he said we'll not see a homeland anymore, right? We wouldn't, we wouldn't see Israel like you said anymore. Why? Why would we see that anymore? What did we do for the most high to put us on ships and to bring us over here? Huh? What did we do? What did we do wrong? We did something for the most high to say here. We wouldn't see our homeland anymore. What did we do? We had to do, huh? No, we did something evil, right? We did something against the most high. Get Deuteronomy 28, 15. Got it? Read. Listen to Deuteronomy that. chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we wouldn't listen to what the Most High was telling us that Moses had gave us instructions to do with, what would happen? To observe, to do all his commandments. We wouldn't observe and doing the Most High commandment. Like today, it's the Sabbath day. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. Moses commanded us on this day to, to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That these curses, that you look in the ghettos and today, who do you see? Who's in the ghettos? What people? Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, right? Read. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shall we be in the city? If you look in the city, right? Do we own any stores? Do we work nine to five jobs and get paid on Friday and have to get the money right back? So who how we made it, right? No, isn't that a curse? Don't that look like a curse to you? Don't that look like okay, you get you work, right? You work, right? You retire, right? But you get a check from where? Who gives you that check? No. Who you work for all those years, right? Was the so called white man, right? Right? That's who you get your check from, right? You don't you ain't got no uh, treasure to make that check out, right? We ain't got no banks to go get that money from every day, right? I, I, I can't see the white man. I mean, black man pays me to give a check something. Yeah, but, yeah, that might be so, but it's a small percentage that does that. But the majority of the world is ran by the Edomite, so-called, the so-called white man, right? I ain't, I ain't going to get there because that's racist. That's racist. How is that racist? If, I own, if you own something and I don't, and it's yours, how is that racist? I don't want to be judged, but I don't want to be judged. What do you mean you don't want to be judged? They judge you every day. But the color of your skin, right? Don't walk off there, bro. Don't leave. I know I gotta go. Don't leave. Okay, it is not about being racist. It's about standing up for your people. That's what it's about. So, so you know, read that, bro. Study that. And, hey, call us if you call us. Read the, the flyer and, and call us. But see, it's not about being racist. It's about a nation. Right. Organizing a nation. He said. He, he said some things that stood out. He said the Ten Commandments. Bro, that's more than Ten Commandments. That's 300 and, that's 613 Commandments. That's more than Ten. The Ten is just the basis, right? He also said, of, um, he also said of something about race. It's about your people. It's not about, oh, see, our people get offended when it comes to the white man, when it comes to the other nation. But they won't get offended when it comes to their own people, right? right? That's why the brother walked off. But I hope he, he, he repents and come back to these laws, that's his commandment. Right. But anytime you start to talk about the other nations, our people, what do you call that? Stockholm Syndrome? Yep. They, they, oh, they love Master. Yep. If Master didn't say it, I ain't going to do it. Right. Look, look, look. See, Master, oh, oh, no, you can't talk about Master. No, that's not true. Your Master is the most high in Christ, right. not the so-called white man. The Edomite, right? The Adomi, that's their real name. Right. Caucasians. Right. So what we're showing you is how to come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. Brother, on the bike. Hey, brother, come over for a second. Let us talk to you. Come over and let us talk to you for a second. Huh? You busy. You like you said, still on the bike to me. Yeah, he pulled you over to tell you so you can get us knowledge. Come on over. You got five minutes, don't you? You got five minutes for it, don't you? Yeah. Who are you according to the Bible? Jimmy Drummond. Huh? Jimmy Drummond. Jimmy Drummond, what's your race? When you fill out a job application, what do you put on there? Black. Black? Yeah. Look at my pants. You that color? Yeah, no, you're, you're brown. 
You're not black, you're brown. That's what they put on us. Yeah. See, the most high calls you Judah, according to the Bible. Right. You come from that tribe. That's who you are. Yeah. You see, we have to come back to understanding who we are according to the Bible. We ain't a color in a crayon box. We're different shades of brown. Yeah. Right? That's you. Right? right? Guess who else comes from that tribe that you're from? See that tribe, first tribe down there say Judah on the left right there? Yeah. That's the tribe that you belong to. Right. There's someone else in the Bible that came from that same exact tribe. Read that. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. It said it's evident, so it's proof that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Read. Of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So he came from the same tribe that you came from. You have his blood running through your veins. So I'm showing you who you are according to the Bible because you rolled up and told me you was black and you gave me your slave name. Yeah. That name was given to you by your... Oppressive, right? Our name is, our last name is Israel, right? Our first name is supposed to be what the Most High gives us. Those names didn't come from us. Like you see Johnson, Smith, uh, Taylor, all that. that. That's not us. Our last name is Israel. You said you know that we came over here on cargo slave ships, right? Is that in the Bible? You don't have any idea. But I'm going to read something to you. Listen to this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So Moses is saying that we will go into Egypt again. Remember when Moses brought the children out of Egypt, right? Moses came and got us, right? He's telling us again because we sinned against the Most High. Read. With ships, by the way whereof I speak unto thee. He's saying with ships. That's how we got over here to this side of the world. On right. ships. See that, see that sign right there? See that right there? Yeah. That's where we were scattered all over the world. That's us. That's you. That's me. That's everybody out here. Right? Read. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So he said, thou shalt see it no more again. So what wouldn't we see anymore again? If you've been taken from one place to another, so you got to know where you're coming from. So where were they been taken from and brought here? Read. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So he said, we wouldn't see our homeland anymore. Get that? We wouldn't see our homeland. Jerusalem is, is where they brought us from on those cargo slave ships that I pointed out to you down here. That's where they brought us from over here to, to this side of the world. Read. We're gonna read it to you. Read. Galatians chapter four verse twenty six. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. So it says Jerusalem, which is above, is free. That's your homeland. Right? Read. Which is the mother of us all. So that's the mother of us all. The northeast part of Africa is where Jerusalem is. So it is in Africa, right? That's where we came from over here on those cargo slave ships. Showing you that we were brought over here by that mode of transportation. And what, what happened to us when we were brought over here? On those slave ships. At the end. Thou shalt see it. Listen, listen up for you though. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. So it said, and there we shall be sold unto our enemies when we came off those cargo slaves here. Right? It said, nigga, 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 sold to Master Charles in Virginia. Nigga, 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 sold to Mr. Johnson in, 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 in Charleston. Right? So we're showing you that we came over here when we got off those cargo slaves here that we, the, the people of Israel, were sold into slavery. Right? Did you know that? You didn't know that, right? You go to church? No, not in a while. Not in a while. Don't go. Don't go to the church because they ain't going to teach you nothing. You ain't never heard this before because you just manifested that you never heard this before. So, we're, so what we're doing, brother, is showing you and teaching you according to the Bible. The church, you go in there for two hours, y'all sing, y'all rock back and forth for two hours, and y'all get up, run around the church, and he passes a collection plate and takes, take your money. And you got bills to pay. Ties is the money. Ties is food. You understand? What you got to do? I'm about to go shopping. Shopping? The day is the Sabbath. You're not going to do anything on the Sabbath. It's a, it's a Sabbath. It's a, hollow, it's a hollow day by the most high. The day is the Sabbath. Friday night sundown. It's a Saturday night sundown. We're not supposed to buy, sell, or cook, or work. Right? So it sounds like to me, you're doing all three. 
Uh, you, so you willfully gonna disobey the most high? I guess so. I got to go. You, you guess so. You gonna go. You gotta go. But what I'm telling you, that's wrong. I don't know about all that. You don't know about it. I just told him, don't break the law and the commandment. And sadly, he said, well, I'm gonna do it anyway. That's willful sin. That's wrong in the eyes of the Most High. Right. So in doing in doing that, he said he. What he say? He said, I'm, I guess I'm gonna do it anyway, right? So that's well for said. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>